1974 Steierbruch-Pinzgauer 6x6-712 Ambulance.
I know people get out to simply look around and have fun while they live with this. So this little road goes all the way to Snow Valley. Right there. <laughs> Always gonna let the tail hang over the cliff on the end. It doesn't care. Yeah.
crawler here, foot off the clutch. vehicle and this is sold as a project meaning fully operational but could use some you know cosmetic attention of course your personal touch for uh, conversion whichever way works for the purpose and uh, it is an unusual box with a side entrance and back doors go rear step new tail lights new wiring behind the license plate um, is a covered up under the floor panel so this could be opened up with a large drawer for gear accessories etc and all those measurements will be in my detailed description here's the uh, toolbox, battery box, front entry steps, and let's go inside. The windshield is also taller than your standard pin scour, so um, very nice when you sit at a red light and you don't need to hunch over. So here's the basic interior. Seats do need some reupholstery. Here is the access to the rear shelter. I do have all the original parts, such as gas heater, etc., etc. The lights were working in the shelter. This is not the original odometer reading. And uh, the speedometer has been replaced. Door panels, also very unusual window positioning units here. Normally you just slide them open. There's nothing where you can lock the sliders in place. Walking around the front again. A lot of work done to this truck. And we put about 100 miles on it so far without any problems. There's also off-road video, undercarriage video, etc., etc. There it is. Here are the locker mechanism. 6x6 six six on the left, rear lockers in the center, front lockers on the right. And uh, lots of extra room for accessories. You know, this box back here was for a gas heater. It has lap seat belts. And uh, yes, the seats should be reupholstered. Let's go inside, check it out. So again, side entry door, which is very nice to have. So you can build bunk beds, etc. in the back. And a really nice step. Here's some, some cosmetic corrosion. The underneath has been completely fixed on that section. Here's the cabinet with a sink, etc. Here's the window to the cab, 
we have an overhead compartment above the cab. Um, it also has ventilation, you turn around ceiling lights. Those were operational, all the wiring is pre-wired, and then you could do whatever uh, works best. So here's the entire box. Both doors in the back swing wide open, fold all the way around the truck, and can be secured in that position. And uh, here's compartments. Also, these are really nice drawers, which do not just open while you drive. Here's the measurements for the little section here above the cab with the sliding windows. Here's that. And then here's the measurements on the inside of this box. But I will have those in the description as well. Entry step, more drawers, and this is how that sink can open and swivel the faucet out. So now we'll look from the back. This handle is also very nice to get in sliding windows here in the box section. So let's open this up, and I'm not gonna totally secure them, but they do swing all the way around just like that. Here we go. We even took it for an off-road spin yesterday. As you can see in the video, it's actually a lot of fun. So that's basically the space. It's about six feet tall. I can almost stand up in there. I'm 6'2", and this vehicle may seem very top-heavy and tall, but it really is not. We've gone pretty fast down the road, and I uh, also have videos of that where I go kind of high speed and to show that it doesn't really lean hard or anything. Also, these side rails are actually rubber and not the standard wood so um, they don't rot. They've been on there for a long time and they hold up really well. And uh, the emergency lights can easily be reactivated. And the blue lenses here have been just painted over. That paint is removable. So if you have any questions regarding this truck, email me. Mogsaros at gmail.com And uh, this is basically just about the undercarriage. Vehicle's fully serviceable and operational, but it is in need of personal attention and needing whatever upgrades you wish to do. So um, it is priced accordingly. Clean Arizona title, driver's side, front out drive, factory one piece axle boot, Passenger side, front out drive, axle boot, and uh, engine up there, dry. So let's go back here with some light. Battery box in excellent shape. Toolbox has a new floor welded in. Exhaust has minor wear here on the slip joints. Slight blow by. Muffler has been welded but is solid. Now we're getting to the center driver's side rear out drive, new axle boot, far rear driver's side out drive with new axle boot, and the factory wheel chucks come with it. Corrosion, yes, the truck has a couple age-related, very normal little places. Often this is misleading. This is very thick undercoating. It looks like a hole. It is not. However, this one is, and uh, nothing is structural here, uh, no issues. So, uh, new tail light harness, brand new German tail lights, no Chinese LED nonsense. Now we go over to this side, new axle boot. This is the outdrive on the far passenger rear. Now the 
frame section for the four back wheels. Flanking paint. There are a couple spots where around the drain holes, you know, there's some corrosion. Again, nothing structural. Going forward, here's the center out drive with a good axle boot. Now we're going to get to the VIN number, which is located between the transfer case and the center differential. 4753388. Going forward, here we have the side entry um, door where the steps are, and uh, the frame has been reinforced with angle iron. There's some remaining cosmetic little bubbles here and there, but it is solid. Transmission is a takeout from a freshly rebuilt truck, so it is virtually new. Here is the cable if you wish to hook up the backup light, which goes up there to that golden bolt there. Now we're going forward, and uh, I did service the starter. Oil pan is pretty dry. There are always little leaks in this area on the pin scour, so a little dripping is quite normal. Now we're going to the transmission selector shaft, which often leaks. This one does not. Um, this truck had some leaks. There was a gasket missing here for the front locker control light switch, and uh, so that gasket is installed now. Here is the passenger side front out drive and another view of the driver's side there was some corrosion in the front foot wells um, that's all been patched professionally so here is the passenger foot well fixed up and we're going to the driver's side foot well this was very entertaining with the throttle uh, you know brackets and so forth and the hoses and everything so this is all sealed up and welded and solid. So, turning around. There we go again. Here's a full view of the undercarriage. And if you have any questions, contact me at mogsrus at gmail.com. And uh, one more thing before I forget. The tires look good, but they are old. So let me pick the worst one here and find some of the little dry cracks here. Of course now I don't see it. Here we go. This one has some. So I do recommend new tires. And again, this is a perfect base vehicle for a overland truck. Um, price very low. And uh, we all know how much a fully equipped vehicle goes for, but you might want to build your own personal truck to your specific needs, and this is the perfect base to do so. So again, mogsaras at gmail.com, and uh, thanks for watching.